it. Today we are going to make French toast. <laughs> no, wait. No, no, no. You must be French to make the French toast. But the French were the ones to first make French toast. Then why is it called French toast? <laughs> you need to be French to make the French toast. No, but Romans were the first box. ones to make French toast. Oh. <laughs> Roman. Lovely. It's not the French. Okay, then why don't we just be both? Good. Ah! Well, hello. Today we will be go cooking the French toast. Say what the hell what have we been doing? We're all happy now with what we got. Our Roman toast. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're gonna start making our Roman and French toast. So what you're gonna need is some bread, some cinnamon, some eggs, pure vanilla milk, and a hot skillet. And remember, you're going to need an adult to make sure that you don't get burned by the skillet. And, and you're going to need butter instead of the spray because the spray will ruin your skillet. So you spread this like this over it. After you open it. Alright, well, we're going to plug in the skillet and then we're going to heat it up so that we can start. And while they're doing that, me and Lucy are going to start cracking some eggs. Yeah! So, for every two eggs, you're going to do half a cup of milk. So, we're going to... Lucy, are you going to have four? Yeah! Yeah. I guess these. Okay, help me. Yeah. Since we're doing a double batch, we're going to do two halves, and two halves make a whole. Yeah, and you're going to want a bowl that, you know, the bread can go into. So. And you can move it around it. And so we're just going to do a splash of pure vanilla. There's no exact measurement for it. I'm sure there probably is somewhere. But it just makes it a little bitter, so. Now we're going to need the cinnamon, too. And you kind of just put however much cinnamon you want to your liking. Kind of depends. Ours is kind of cinnamon, yeah. so I think we'll do a couple tablespoons, teaspoons. Eh, teaspoon, tablespoon, same difference. One's just really big, one's not. And you know, once the skillet gets to a pretty hot, pretty warmed up, you're going to use the butter and you're going to just spread it on here just to make sure, you know, that it doesn't stick. And make sure it's all covered so uh -huh. you know, not any of the spots. Here, can I see? Can I see? Can I lift it? No, it looks good. Mm -hmm. Can I lift it? And then you can just set the butter aside. I have to mix it real quick. Say bye to it. Say bye bye. bye. So bye. once it's all mixed up, you're going to see clumps of the cinnamon, but that's okay. Just going to go ahead and take your bread. You're going to sit it in there, and then you're just going to want to coat it. Okay, so it doesn't matter if your hands get dirty. We love the dark day. So it's okay. And then just try to shake off the excess. And then you're going to, going to go ahead and set it on the skillet. And I you're going to do this with all of them. And then you're just going to wait for it to go. I love the French. You mean the Roman? Because Romans made French first. French you know, first. No, but it kills the book of Roman. It's only French now. <laughs> Okay, we made an agreement that we would do this together, so everybody's equal as French and ah! I'm excited too. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so it's just gonna yes, be you know golden brown once you flip it over, so it'll be all good. Okay, well, I'm... It's a pretty easy breakfast, yeah, and it's really fun to do with kids. Okay. Oh, and there's enough bubbles there. You can see it's almost done. You don't know burn your hands. That's you know, right, Lucia. You, you have to watch out because you don't want to burn your hands. And this, okay. the skillet thing is only for adults because you don't want to burn your hands because the oil is very hot. Adults? I am my eight that thing. Ah, it's He's not 18. Don't trust her. I'm 21. While you're making the French toast, you're just going to want a plate so that you can set the French toast down on it once it's ready. Because, I mean, seriously, people are hungry. So, it should look like this when it's done. I mean, it's perfectly fine. It looks cooked all the way. And, you know, it's kind of a golden brown, and it smells so good. Lucia, do you want to smell it? Does it smell good? 
because that's personally my favorite is syrup or jam. This is the pasta dopa. I'm clearly tied into the sky. I'm clearly sticking my leg to the scene. What is that? I don't think I can flip it. I'm stuck this. Did we get that? That was amazing. <laughs> did, did we get that? That was cool. That's and cool. Uh, halfway through uh, it, you know, it might get a little bit more sticky this. from the butter coming off. Mm -hmm. So you can just add a little bit more butter if yes, um, your French is just so well, funny. Here, we're making a snow. Okay, we're done. We gotta wait for the next one. Thanks for being here to make French Roman toast with us. We will see you again soon. Bye. Bye. You're coming right back into the crane, just like you just snapped, and now you're French guys with mustaches. Ah! I'm going to get it. Yes, honey, you can mix it. She likes mixing. She loves to help cook. And she loves eating it, too. It's a total yeah, but this you can't eat, because it just rides and rides is bad. Because it will give you the poops. Don't make me curse you. I will. <laughs> 